Hey there, Commanders. There's some hot takes this week. I've been trying to figure out how to talk about this for a couple of hours, and ultimately I've arrived at the conclusion that there really isn't a good way to talk about this without pissing somebody off. And when you're in a situation like this, the best thing you can do is just speak your piece and let the chips fall where they may, which is basically what David Braben has done. And I'm going to be honest with you guys and say that, that I actually agree with what David Braben's decided to do, um, cutting console development for Odyssey. That I know is not going to land right among console players, but I do think that the PC version of Elite Dangerous is languishing, and that they've arrived at a point where, because of a chain of decisions that have been made over the last two years, they don't really have any other options. They have to consolidate their resources and push Elite Dangerous forward as quickly as they can on the platforms in which it is the most enjoyed. And right now, if I understand the numbers and metrics correctly, there are more gamers playing Elite Dangerous on PC than any other platform. So that does mean essentially laying off a whole bunch of customers because they're on the wrong hardware. And that really does suck. The decisions that have led to this point have been a long time coming, and I do think that the first mistake that Frontier made that caused us to arrive here was the decision to announce in their financial statements that Odyssey would be launched and giving a hard date, and then saying that on that hard date, the feature complete product would be available to gamers. Uh, that was the catalyst that set in stone the date that the game had to go in whatever condition that it that it was in, and it forced them to have to market a game that wasn't done as feature complete, effectively misrepresenting the game to the community, to their faces, and well, I have to ask, like, what did they think was going to happen? That decision to announce Odyssey in the financial statements was, was the mistake, I believe, that catalyzed this entire mess. Because it's led us invariably to situations where Frontier knew that the product was in a bad place and could not tell us without getting themselves sued. You have to be really careful in all aspects of operating a business or even just in your personal life, understanding the incentive structures that are driving your decisions. And the decision to announce Odyssey in financial statements as being able to launch on a given date with a certain degree of integrity was, I, I think it was a bad move. I think it caused all of these problems. Um, and now, as a result, Frontier's stock has lost half its value, uh, roughly. I can't remember what the exact figures are at the time of recording. And have incurred an incredible amount of rightfully earned negative feedback from just about everybody involved it really messed up their plans for the future. And then of course we had the pandemic and now what looks like it might turn into World War III if uh, the wrong decisions get made by people in power right now. Um, there's a lot of stuff floating around in the atmosphere right now surrounding everybody. And I'm impressed that they've been able to keep the ship together as well as they have in the face of both global events and what's taking place within their own business environment. So all that aside, um, I don't think that this decision is the end of Elite Dangerous. There, I've, I've seen a couple of content creators videos talking about that, and I disagree strongly with them. Um, barring a significant black swan event that destroys the global economy or something like that, I think that Frontier will continue to develop and support Elite Dangerous going into the future. We are far from the end of this game, and I actually view this statement as an affirmation that Elite Dangerous will continue to be aggressively developed for at least the next year, um, at which point I think they will probably evaluate and see what can be done next. Um, when David Braben says that this game is close to his heart, I flip and believe him, because it's one of the first and oldest game franchises that has ever been developed. And there is, I, I talk about this in all of my ideal feature videos, a lot of unrealized potential in the platform with the current technology that can be manifest. And I do think that this decision facilitates them being able to accomplish some version of it. 
I don't think that what comes out of Elite Dangerous over the next two or three years will reflect what I'm making in my ideal feature videos. I make those more as an exercise in, in game design and what I would do in this situation if I had control over where the product was going. It's more of an educational exercise for me than it is anything else. I, I don't pretend to be an expert in game design. I don't pretend to be an expert in software development. I have a little bit of experience professionally working with SaaS products, but I'm not, uh, I'm not anywhere in the stack that makes significant decisions about how features get planned or supported. So I'm out of the loop on that one, but I think that once the game gets through this negative sentiment that the board will be cleared for possible significant improvements. I'm not in a place where I can say for sure what Elite Dangerous is going to turn into. Nobody is, aside from the people in the institution. So I tend to take uh, content creators who come out and declare that this is the end with an incredible grain of salt because it's not the end until Frontier Flipping says it's the end. And I do think that if that moment comes that David Braben is going to be pretty honest with, with everybody about it, I think that the incentive structures are now aligned after this statement for them to be more transparent, and I would hope that they capitalize on it. But I guess we're going to have to see what comes out of this in the future. But that's all I've got for today, so I will catch you guys later.